walking through the Arboretum and we were gonna film a totally separate film today, but we ran into this swarm of bees in the Arboretum. So this is like a hundred dollar bill hanging in a tree. Swarms are, are pretty natural for bees. They are. It's the way that a beehive would propagate itself. So just like any living organism, there's a way to reproduce, right? So this is how they're doing it. What happens is in a hive, the queen lays 800 to 1,000 eggs a day. She's and, busy. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes that gets crowded. Yeah. And you can see we're wearing masks today. We're supposed to social distance. We can't social distance for this, so we had to wear masks. So, so uh, bees are also good social distancers. When their hive gets too crowded, the queen's pheromone gets diluted. And so what happens is sometimes those laying the, the the workers will actually start laying queen cells because the queen's pheromones diluted. Well, they take a they take an egg from the queen. Yeah. They make it. They don't actually lay the egg, right? And the queen doesn't like competition, so she takes half the hive and leaves to yep. find a new home. Yep. So swarming, as scary as it looks, is very natural. Right, and they're super calm right now. Really docile. I mean, we're just being protective just in case. I mean, you could catch, there's a lot of people that do that just catch these. No suits, no masks, no nothing. I did that last year. <laughs> <laughs> I got stung and went into anaphylactic shock. So yeah. Jerry's not in the film today. He's, you know, we talk Careful. about six foot distancing. <laughs> Like, Jerry's about 60 feet away. He doesn't like bees. And he knows where the EpiPen is. So, and that's his job. Is if, if I get stung, then his to job is to stab me. Yeah. Which is a dream come true with a stab yeah, lady. Probably is. <laughs> Not gonna lie. All right. So should we catch this? It's, it's a great way to get a new hive at one of our houses anyway. So let's... So what we've got here is called a nook box. This came with a another swarm or another bunch of bees and a queen earlier so we've held onto the box and we've got some empty frames right. and really these guys are just looking for a new home so yeah. right now we're gonna give it to them and they're sending out scouts they're looking for a place and they like to look for cavities that are kind of shaped like this um where they know they can build a nest and once they find something they'll come back they'll tell the other bees a couple more will go scout it out and then if it's great they'll tell the whole swarm and they'll go so that's how they end up in your eaves of your house yeah. or you know, places like that. So, and it um, freaks people out. It does. And I get calls all the time. Hey, I've got a swarm in my backyard. Contact your local beekeeping association. Right. There's always somebody that wants free bees. Yes, and free bees are an awesome thing. They're yes, so they expensive. Well, like I said, a hundred dollar bill hanging in a yeah, tree. Yeah, at least I know people sell nukes for about 170 in Davis County. But yeah. yeah. So. So one thing we did as an enticement for their new home, we made sure that their refrigerator was stocked with some nectar. Yep. And so we took this out of another hive. Yep. And hopefully this is this is another enticement for the them to drawn, stay in this box. It's got drawn comb. There is a queen in the center of this and it's a place for her to start laying. They don't have to build up the comb. Um, one important thing is the entrance has a plug in it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds really simple, but. But <laughs> I've taken one of these home in my car before <laughs> and um, you know, even with the plug, sometimes they can leak out the, the top and they can just get out. And I, I opened up the back of my car and the entire thing was covered with these. That was an adventure. So you just want to make sure this is kind of sealed up and secure um, if you're going to be transporting it, um, not in the bed of a truck. I mean, if you're in the bed of a truck, it's not as big of a deal as it is in your SUV. <laughs> but most of you are not going to be catching swarms. Probably not. It's just a cool thing to watch. So. But it is it is important to know your local beekeeping association. And you can usually find them on Facebook. Uh -huh. So Davis County is the Davis County Beekeepers Association. What's in cash? The Cache County Beekeeping Association. And then Salt Lake has one. Wasatch um, Beekeeping Wasatch Association. Beekeeping Association. I think that Weber and Morgan are kind of in between right now. I don't think that they have, but I could be wrong. So if you're in those counties, call Davis County Beekeeping Association. They usually are really good about coming out. So okay. they have a swarm coordinator that tells people to go out. So. Oh, and they love it. Yep. So don't be freaked out. Just okay. call somebody to come and get them. You're going to hold the box? Okay. <laughs> or do you want me to hold the box? This is going to go crazy here really quick. So. Because we're going to put the box under. Sheridan's going to give this branch a gentle shake. A gentle shake. And then yeah. these bees are just going to kind of funnel down through these frames, almost like molasses. Right. And they're already kind of 
kind of checking it out. And if the video goes crazy, it's because Cody, who's filming first, is running for his <laughs> we, hope, <laughs> we hope that doesn't happen. No. Okay. Are we ready? Yep. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to get as close as I can. See, most of them fell in, and we're hoping that we got the queen. This is not an ideal situation for sandals, I should just point out. <laughs> so, well, that's why I wore boots. Just move slow. Sure, just move slow right? So we'll just kind of keep it here. And honestly, when I catch swarms, I kind of leave the, the box here For a little bit. and let okay. the bees kind of work their way down in. Like I, I said, the queen. It. We has a pheromone. So usually we'll have a brush to brush them off. Oh, I should have brought it. I hey, guess what? 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 Yep. Yeah, Engineer. We that. So we just hope that we catch the queen. If the queen is in the box, everybody else. Then they'll all, all follow her too. in. And sometimes her pheromones on this branch. So we'll just give it a rub. Try to dilute that pheromone. They'll just keep going back to the branch if it's strong enough. But right now, what we'll do is let's take the cork out so they can crawl in. Yep. And then we'll just put the lid on this guy. I'm going to set this right here so we don't lose it. And we'll just let these guys find the queen. All right, so are we going to arm wrestle this when we get to take the phone? I already had one earlier this spring, <laughs> so it's all yours. I've had three. <laughs> If anybody wants a swarm, make a comment. <laughs> and if you're in the area, it is a smaller swarm, but you can totally take it. I'd be happy to give it to someone who needs one. So, yeah, you can come and pick it up. Yep. Just let us know. Hey. Before the end of the day. Yeah, before the end of the day. If you don't call us by what three? Yep. Then sorry, we're gonna take you. But all these, all these bees flying around, they're kind of confused. The queen was there. Now she's there. They'll find their way down. So They'll the bees. The bees will actually come out the entrance and start fanning and get a pheromone lopping up through the air to attract the bees down to the entrance. Yeah, it's a pretty cool thing to watch when they start to do that. So, so anyway. Go play, my daughter. Okay. Thanks for watching. That's how to do a swarm. Catch one anyway. So thanks so much, guys. See you later.